The underground comics had more than one important figure. Certainly, uh, Crumb looms over uh, that particular milieu, which was the beginning of comics for comics' sake. Other important masters include Rory Hayes, who made it possible to break not just the taboo against showing overt sexual content, but the taboo against drawing badly. He drew badly so well, and this allowed for a kind of liberation of what comics could be. It had a real intensity. And then another relatively unsung master who is so important to what's happening now is Justin Green. So important that we managed to give him an entire room in this place that shows the complete masterpiece, one of several that he made, but the most important perhaps, called Binky Brown Meets the Holy Virgin Mary. Justin Green is a very quirky artist, not inspired so much by the people who drew Batman or the people who drew Superman, but inspired by the people who drew the advertising publicity pages between. Somewhere between that and looking at Albert Dürer's uh, wood engravings, he developed a new way of drawing that was all his own. And what he did that was most important was in Binky Brown, for example, Binky Brown was, of course, Justin Green, Green, Brown. And it was about his own life as an obsessive, compulsive, dealing with the sexual guilt of growing up Catholic, turning his boxes into small confession booths, just like in the church, as he deals with his own apostasy and sexual guilt. And in doing that, he opened up the possibility of autobiography to comics. Justin was a very important figure in my life. He was the editor of the comic book called Funny Animals that beckoned me in to do the three-page comic that was ultimately Mouse, the beginning of the work that I'm most known for back in 1972. And when I moved to San Francisco, I moved into his apartment when he was moving out. And it was in that apartment that I drew Prisoner on the Hell Planet, the story about my mother's suicide that was uh, encased in eventually in breakdowns, of course, and as well in Mao's itself. He's given me great advice throughout my life as a cartoonist and uh, is somebody I'm very proud to call a friend.